hey there guys we're back with another video we hope you be interested in um, before I started my own business I guess it's several years ago had to be probably eight or nine now I worked with UPS or FedEx I'm not gonna go into specifics because I'm pretty sure they're probably the same way anyway but when I got hired on I was kind of lucky to get hired on because <clears throat> I knew somebody who knew somebody really didn't know them that well but I knew somebody who knew somebody and uh, I got in the first day I got there you go in you load unload the big uh, 18 wheeler trucks and uh, my fucking luck man I pulled a box off of the top and it had a box of screws sitting on top of it and it was a tiny little box of screws no bigger than a GoPro and it came down and fucking smashed me in the nugget my head was bleeding all over the place and stuff but uh, I got it stopped bleeding I didn't go get stitches I just come right back and started working and um this was during the seasonal the christmas so if you did good you know you you could stay they'd keep you on but if you didn't they'd let you go and maybe do you again next year but i guess that experience you know kind of showed them that i'd i'd work hard whatever but anyway after that they kept me back there for a while and the union the union shit gets in the way because you know you're doing a good job back there you're working harder than the other people who are been there a little longer so they kick your ass to the curve and let the lazy fuckers have it just the way it goes and then uh they you get the worst job because you're low man on totem pole unless you can't do it or you're not actually willing to do it you're going to get the worst job and but anyway they they uh moved me up front we were doing the uh we were loading the little trucks the one you see that actually deliver the packages and yeah i was on the worst one and as long as i was there i was there for a good two or three years at least and as long as I was there, because I, well, I never abused the union, I never used it at all, honestly. Never did. But I stayed on that same truck, those same three trucks or whatever it was, four trucks maybe. And it was the hardest one there. But still, you had some lazy ass. Every time you'd get finished, you had to go help somebody else because people were fucking lazy. And uh, another thing, like I said, the union, I never used it. I don't even know why I joined it. I eventually did, but I don't know why I did because I never used it. And I mean, I never even seen the union in there. Every now and then they try to stand outside and get you to vote. I guess they vote Democrat. I don't have a friggin' clue. Never voted, never will, and you know, never voted for union either. Never would. But uh, they'd have people that would be off, man. I mean, you'd forget these people. They'd be off so long. I don't know if they went and had surgery, what the hell they did, but the union protected them. They had surgery, they stayed home. They protected them every time and uh, which is somewhat a good thing, but it's abused too. And another thing is, um, when I was working there, they had, you know, you're supposed to have the bumping rights and all this and that, but no, the union just lets, lets these companies do whatever the hell they want to do. Like when I was there, there were people there that had been there for a long time. They'd been there for years and years and years. And there was this girl that, uh, as soon as she come there, man, I, I think they, they put her up there making her handle the packages at first and they found out that she was a uh, lesbian i have no problem with that and i really didn't want no promotion anyway i just want to be left alone i didn't have no gumption to excel to the next level there because i didn't ever think i'd be stuck there so long but anyway because she was lesbian they made her a supervisor not too long after that it had to be like a month or two after that she was driving trucks already and I mean, I was there longer than her. I started before her. And they did it with minorities too. Now I know this is trying to make me sound racist and stuff, but they did. They did it with minorities. They did it with her because she's lesbian. I mean, they did. That's like if they had a white guy that kind of had, um, you know, a mental deficiency or something. If it benefited them, they threw him in there. That's just the way the companies work. And the union, obviously people complained. I mean, I remember it was caused big upstir. And people complained, but that's what it was. They let them do it. They didn't care. It looked good for the company, so they did it. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it wasn't a bad place to work, really, but there was a lot of people <laughs> in there, a lot of immature fuckers, like, like, uh, and it, it is a sexist and racist environment, no doubt about it. I remember there were people, um, a supervisor and another boy I worked near all the time talking about <laughs> making fun of Jews and blacks and, uh, one of the boy actually got in trouble one time because he uh, he was uh, saying something. This girl was walking down the the way and and he said uh, he said what well, smells like a French whore, 
and she happened to hear him and she reported him he got in somewhat trouble i mean nothing really if nail nail with the yes yes man or whatever the hell it is or me too movement he'd been fucking gone in a heartbeat at least if they knew who he was you know when he's somebody big he'd been gone in a fucking heartbeat but yeah it was a uh a weird environment but i mean i didn't mind it you had good insurance that i never used because i was a fucking retard but they had good insurance that i should have took advantage of you got a you got vacations uh every year the raise the pay went up so uh and they helped people you know move up to get like their cdls take up go back to school so it wasn't a bad place to work but uh yeah the u union really kind of ruins it it really does it really ruins it. it helps it and hurts it but unions ain't for me man all they do is really cover for bad people and they cover for the company too and i never took advantage of those grievances all these fuckers do is want to be i want to be on the list so that whenever somebody don't come in they'll call me so i can say no or not answer and then bitch about it when they pick somebody who's below me that does come in and that's all it's about i mean these these fuckers are probably making thousand dollars a week in grievances alone that's how fucking shady it is how these companies stay in business with unions is beyond me now i know they're good and bad because you wouldn't have all those benefits if you didn't have the union but uh if you're going to work at one of these companies you either need to go full throttle you either need to go full throttle and really focus on becoming the the delivery man or the 18 wheeler driver and that's what they told me is if you want the easiest job there is be the one that drives from hub to hub because you don't lift a, a single package you just drive the 18 wheeler from hub to hub or don't take it serious and just know that you're going to get out of it one day because i mean it is what it is there's people quitting there all the time but anyway that's my experience of working in one of these oh and yeah another thing yeah your shit gets tossed around like a motherfucker yeah it gets tossed around like a motherfucker anytime i ordered something i knew that there'd be somebody up here hand, handling my shit and i worried about it all the time i don't know who who it was i don't know because it moved around you know sometimes but i don't know who the specific person was but i always worried about it because all of them throw your stuff it's usually the people that is unloading it from the truck the 18 wheeler and throwing it on the the roller belt they're usually the one that is destroying your shit so if you get something that is tossed around it wouldn't surprise me a bit if somebody tossed your shit and ruined it i remember when i worked there i mean they stepped on uh this piece of furniture somebody bought and it broke it in half i mean all kinds of stuff like that that's the risk you take when you ship man i always thought it'd be interesting to take a package put sensors in it and uh listening devices and send that fucker through there and see how much pressure and and abuse it takes and also listen at the stuff that people are saying while they're working i say that'd make for a good reality show so if you you listen to this discovery be sure to get in touch with us all right guys adios